Hey guys, it's 2 Games or Adam, and welcome to my tutorial on how to upgrade all four staffs here on Origins Remastered. So what we're doing in this video is I'll be showing you guys everything you need to do to upgrade all four staffs. Of course, craft each staff and then the upgrade process, all the codes, everything you need to know about upgrading the staff on Origins will be in this video. So let me quickly explain what you're seeing in front of you right now and how this video is going to work, okay? So you can see all the staffs listed on screen, of course, with the gramophone as well, because for new players, you do need the gramophone. I'll explain that in just a little bit, but if you want to see a specific staff, it will show you the time right underneath the name of that staff, uh, what time that staff is in the video. And if you're on PC, I recommend going down into the description because I have timestamps for all the staffs. And all you have to do is click the time and it will take you directly to that part of the video. Unfortunately, if you're on mobile, you're going to have to just scroll to that part of the video. Um, but for PC, just go down the description and click directly on the time and it will take you to that exact part of the video where I show that specific guide for that staff. Now for all of the new people playing Origins, people who have never played Origins before, you know nothing about this map, please watch the section of the video where I talk about the gramophone first because in order to upgrade any staff or even craft any staff, you need to get the gramophone first and the gramophone disc. And there's three locations on the map for that disc. I will show you all of that in the gramophone section of the video. So go to that part of the video or again, if you're on PC, click the timestamp in the description. And one more thing I wanna mention is I have a handful of screenshots from the regular version of Origins just to show you specific locations. Of course, all the gameplay is gonna be Origins Remastered, but I have screenshots from regular Origins just so I can show you everything where everything's located so you guys uh, aren't confused at all. But besides that, guys, if uh, this helps you out at all, make sure to leave a like and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy. So welcome to the gramophone section of the video. Video. The gramophone itself is really easy to pick up and find every game because it's always in the same spot. So what you want to do is head towards the excavation site or where the pack-a-punch is. And when you head underneath the pack-a-punch, there is going to be a wooden table with the gramophone on the ground beside it. Every single game, it never moves. Pick that up and now I'll show you the three white disc locations for the gramophone. So the first gramophone disc location is located behind the excavation site. This is the trench that's connecting generator 5 and generator 4 or the trench that's going towards church. But when you're going from generator 5, you will go through this back trench and it will be leaning right against the crate where I have circled right now in this image. Disc location number two for the gramophone is located literally right in front of the excavation site. You can see it's directly underneath the excavation site sign and it's just leaning against this generator right here. You might have seen me pick it up in the gameplay of me picking up the gramophone at the very beginning. Um, so this one is really, really hard to miss and the last one's even easier. For this last gramophone disc location, like I said, it's very easy. It is literally in the excavation site. When you open the door, there will be a wheelbarrow and you'll have the white disc sitting in the wheelbarrow resting against these rocks. Uh, in this image, the Pack-a-Punch is to my right, so it's literally in a wheelbarrow right beside the Pack-a-Punch machine. So once you have the disc and the gramophone, go ahead and place the gramophone down on the table that you found the gramophone beside. When you place that down with the white disc, another section will open up and that's where all of the staffs can be built. So once that section opens up, make sure you pick up your gramophone again. And now we can start working on getting all the staffs and then upgrading all the staffs. So welcome to the lightning staff section of the video. Now the first thing we want to do is we have to collect three parts of the lightning staff. So what you want to do is you want to go to the tank. The tank is located at church near generator six. Uh, and it's pretty much directly underneath the church. You want to jump on the tank. You have to pay 500 points to take it halfway around the map. And we're going to go ahead and collect our first part over here. So jump in the tank right here. I really recommend leaving a zombie. Uh, it makes things so much easier. And when you get to this section of the map right here, you want to go ahead and jump off. And you can see the first part for the lightning staff is uh, sitting right here in the uh, robot's footprint. The staff parts are scattered across the site. 
For the final lightning staff parts, you want to go back on the tank. Again, the tank will go halfway around the map. It will stop at generator 2. And then you have to jump back on the tank. And, of course, I will show you guys how to get these last two parts. Now, I do a little trick here where I grab both parts in one go. This is something you can do. If you do want to do this, make sure you have stamina up. If not, you can just call the tank back around and get these both parts separately. So you want to jump off right here. This one is literally at excavation site. And if you want to get back on the tank, just jump off right away. Run over here and jump back on the tank. Now, that's kind of tricky to do, especially if you're new to the map. So don't worry if you don't get it. You can always, again, just call the tank back around. And uh, for this last uh, lightning staff part, you want to jump off right over here. And it's kind of located right by church. And pick that up. And now we have all three parts for the lightning staff. We can go ahead and craft it and then start upgrading. So now that we have all three parts for the lightning staff, we have to now get the lightning disc. And there are three locations for the lightning disc, and they are all at generator four or where Juggernaug is, okay? So the first disc location is directly across from generator four. There is this wagon right by the barbed wire fence, and the disc will be resting against this crate that I have circled right here in the image. Location number two is directly directly beside a generator four and as you can see it is also beside the wonder fizz there is a table beside the wonder fizz and the disc will be just on the corner of the table that is facing jug and uh, that right there is the second disc location for the lightning staff the final disc location for the lightning staff is actually uh, underneath generator four. This is actually the uh, wind tunnel. I don't know why they have the lightning disc in the wind tunnel, um, but you want to head down here and on your right, you will see the speaker that I have circled in this image and the disc will be leaning right against the speaker. Now that we have all the parts for the lightning staff and the lightning staff disc, we want to head over to generator five. And this is where the lightning tunnel is located. We have to access this tunnel in order to pick up the lightning crystal for the first time. Okay, so place down your gramophone. And if you have the lightning disc, it will play the song and the portal will open up. And uh, once you go through the portal, you will see this purple um, stand. Uh, walk up to it and you will see the crystal will come out of the stand. Go ahead and pick that up and we can now craft our lightning staff. So once you have the lightning crystal, you can head back to the excavation site where Pack-a-Punch is. Go underneath the Pack-a-Punch and we opened up this area where we can actually craft all the staffs. Earlier, we got the white disc and we placed the gramophone down on the table. Go down there, go to the purple podium, craft your lightning staff, and you now have the base version of the lightning staff. It's pretty effective, but uh, now we're going to work on upgrading this thing. So you now want to head back to the crazy place and we can do the first step for upgrading the lightning staff. When you get into the crazy place, go to the lightning section of the crazy place and you will see all these uh, upside down triangles right here. So what we want to do now is we want to put in a code 136 three, five, seven, and then two, four, six. Okay. So you see these triangles here, completely ignore the top row of triangles. I don't even know why they're there. All you want to do is shoot one, three, and six for the first time. You can see I've labeled all the triangles. So you want to shoot those triangles in that specific order. When you put in the first code, let the lightning shots kind of simmer there for a second. They'll disappear. And then you put in the next code. Uh, they'll sit there for a second. They'll disappear. You put in the last code and then you'll be done. Once that step is done, we're going to go ahead and go around the map, find these electrical panels, and each panel will have a little uh, dial on it. You want to keep turning that until the panel stops sparking, okay? So originally, it will be sparking. You will see it. You will hear that it's sparking. Just keep pressing square on it until it's no longer sparking, okay? So the first one was at generator 5, where stamina up is. And what I'm going to do for you guys is I want to leave in all of my gameplay of me running around the entire map because... 
for those of you who are brand new to Origins, you never played Origins before, I feel like if I was just to cut up this gameplay right here into the sections where I'm just turning the dials, you guys would have no idea where these things are, okay? So I'm going to leave in my entire gameplay of me running around the entire map so you guys know exactly where to go. Um, just follow my routes when you get to that section, pause the video, turn the dial, and continue, okay? So there is one at Generator 4. There was one by Tank that we just did. Uh, this one right here is actually in Church. That's the third one. The fourth one is at Generator 4, which I'm heading to right now. Um, um, the fifth one is at generator one, the sixth one is at generator two, and the seventh one is literally right there in front of me, but that's the last one we do. So just follow my route, guys, and uh, I will talk to you guys again once you finish all these dials. Clearly, we must have achieved something. Turn the last dial, guys. You will see a light in the sky that is going down towards the excavation site or where the pack of punch is located. And then just head down here where you originally crafted the lightning staff, and you will find four switches. Each switch, when activated, will turn a slab of rock, and each time you turn it, a different color will appear on that rock. Just turn all four rocks until they are all purple and then shoot an orb that I'll show you guys in just a second once that is done, and at that point, you're done the upgrade. All you have to do now is head back to the crazy place and place down your lightning staff in that same pedestal where you picked up that lightning crystal or that lightning rock, then stay in the crazy place, get a certain amount of kills, and you're going to be done. You'll get a quote indicating that you've finished the upgrade, and um, then you can pick up the lightning staff and you have it upgraded. So welcome to the fire staff portion of the video. Getting the three parts for the fire staff are really easy. You can have them all done by round eight. The first part is by simply turning on generator six. Once you turn on the generator, the chest will open right here with the first part for the fire staff. So that right there is the first one, really easy. Uh, the second one is to uh, shoot down this airplane you see in the sky. You can see how it's kind of glowing orange. You want to go ahead and just shoot that down. Once you shoot it down, you'll know it will blow up and then the part will come flying down right beside excavation site where I am right here. So that's part number two. And part number three, guys, is simply killing the Panzer on round eight. He will always drop the fire staff part on round eight and it will not disappear. If you don't pick it up, don't worry. It will stay there forever. You don't have to wait until the next Panzer. It will always be there. And there you go. There's all three parts for the fire staff and now we can move on to looking for the fire disc locations. So there are three fire disc locations and all of them are located by generator six or at the church. The first one is located directly beside the tank, in between the tank 
and this wall to the right is this stack of crates and the fire disc is sitting right on these crates. You literally cannot miss this one. It's very easy. So location two is directly above from location one. Go up the stairs into the church and you will see these uh, benches over here in the corner and the fire disc will be sitting right on the second bench from the back. Again, something that is very, very hard to miss. Just look for the benches and you will see the second fire disc location. So the third and final fire disc location is going to be directly at Gen 6. You can see the generator is to the right in this image and the disc is going to be just sitting on top of this one crate that I have circled in this image. So fire disc guys, when you think of fire disc, always think of Gen 6 or church. So once you have all three parts of the fire staff and you have the disc, grab your gramophone and we're going to head down to the fire tunnel. We're going to place down our gramophone and we're going to go ahead and grab that fire crystal. Now, the fire tunnel is located directly out of spawn or this is the trench that is going to Gen 3. Like at the beginning of this clip, I ran directly from Generator 3 to this tunnel. And again, guys, you have to go through the correct tunnel in order for that crystal to spawn in the first place. After that, it doesn't matter what tunnel you go through, you have to go through the correct tunnel just for that crystal. And then after that, again, it does not matter. So once you grab your fire stone, your fire crystal, we'll go ahead and craft our fire staff. And then we can start working on the upgrade quest. Perhaps only I know just how powerful the staffs really are. The first step for upgrading the fire staff is incredibly easy. All you have to do is come down to the crazy place. And again, it doesn't matter what portal you go through at this point. We only have to go through the correct portal when retrieving that stone for that specific staff. So come down to the crazy place, go to the fire section of this crazy place and stand on this platform right here where I am. You can see the, the lava underneath it. Just stand on here and all you have to do is get kills. You see these four lanterns? back there all you have to do is keep getting kills until they are filled up or they all have a flame and that's all you have to do for this first step it's relatively easy uh, i'll recommend having jug of course here and speed cola can kind of help especially if you're doing this in the higher rounds but i recommend doing it in the earlier rounds because you can craft the fire staff so soon so early so knock this step out right away and you can always do the second step later on so once that step is done you want to come back to church which is again by generator six and once in a church you will notice on the wall there are a bunch of symbols and some of these symbols um, are lit up now, right? So it's, it's very, very simple, guys. Each symbol means a specific number, okay? There are a total of seven symbols, so that means a total of seven numbers. And you have to figure out which symbols you have that, that are lit up now, okay? So I'll put a chart on screen so you guys know exactly which symbol is which number. Um, and I'll also explain it as well, okay? So starting from the very left, going to the very right, uh, the first number on the very left is 11, then it's 5, then it's 9, then it's 7, then it's three and then it's four. It, it's really, really simple. Again, just figure out what symbols you have that are lit up. Come back to the video, look at the chart and just figure out what numbers you have. So once you've figured out what numbers you have, just simply head down underneath the church where the tank is. And you will notice there are these torches against the wall and each torch will have a number underneath it. All you have to do is shoot each torch with your numbers, okay? Um, so there is 11, 5, 9, 7, 3, and 4. I do want to mention one thing quickly. Each flame or each torch will have a number underneath it besides 4. 4 is just kind of smudged out or there's like a blood splatter there instead. So if you have 4 and you're looking for 4, it's the one torch, the one flame that does not have a number. Besides that, guys, it, it's really easy. The fire staff upgrade is really easy. Once you get it done once, every time, you can just crank it out super quickly, super fast. Then what you want to do is come back to the excavation site, go underneath the Pack-a-Punch, turn each of these rock slabs with a dial so they're all um, orange or red, and then shoot the crystal underneath. 
go to the crazy place and place your fire staff in the pedestal where you picked up the stone in the first place. Then after placing down the fire staff, just get a certain amount of kills in the crazy place. And once you're done, you'll be notified by a quote and also it'll kind of flash on screen letting you know you have finished the fire staff upgrade. You can go then back to the pedestal and pick up the fire staff and you have the upgraded fire staff. So we'll come to the ice staff section of the video. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go around the map and we're going to go look for the three parts for the ice staff. Now, all you have to do for this is go to dig piles when it's snowing and collect these parts for the ice staff. There will be one staff part in each section of the map. So the first section is going to be the trenches, so generator two and three. The second section is the main section of the map where the excavation site is. Third section is going to be the church slash generator six area. And that's all you have to do, guys, is just dig the dig piles when it is snowing. It is that simple. And of course, you will need a shovel. You can find a shovel in spawn. There's two shovels in spawn. And I recommend picking one up right there as soon as you spawn in. So now that we have all three parts for the ice staff, let's look at the ice disc location. So they are all located at generator two in this one room. So as soon as you enter this bunker right here where the box location is, just go into this room and you will see there's this table as soon as you enter and the disc will be resting up against that rock of element 115. Ice disc location number two is in the back of the bunker directly beside the exit. You can see the exit is just to the left in this image and it will be sitting on this shelf resting up against one of these crates. So the third and final ice dislocation is in the same bunker as the other two. This one is on a shelf directly beside the box. You can see the box is located to the left or a box location. The box might not be there in your game, but those are the three ice dislocations. Again, they are all located at generator two. Now that we have all three parts for the ice staff and we have the disc as well, we're going to head down to the ice tunnel, which is located uh, behind the church or just at generator six. We're going to come down here with our gramophone, place the gramophone on the table and the ice portal will open. We can go through the portal and it will be in the ice part of the crazy place. We'll go ahead and pick up our ice crystal just like the rest of them and then we can go ahead and head back to the pack-a-punch area and craft our ice staff you can see i was placing down my upgraded fire staff right there so pick up our crystal we'll head back to the excavation site and craft our ice staff and now we can start working on the ice staff upgrade which is also a pretty easy one this stuff is my so once you have the ice staff crafted, what we're going to do is we're going to start upgrading this thing. So the first thing we have to do is head back to the crazy place. And of course, we can go through any portal for this step right here. Uh, once you are in the crazy place, head over to the ice section of the crazy place. And we're going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of a puzzle here, okay? So you'll notice there are these floating symbols on these rocks. And we have to match up these symbols with some other symbols, okay? So you'll notice there's a symbol right there. You have to figure out what that symbol matches up with, with the floating symbols right there. Now, I know it sounds kind of complicated, but don't worry. I will throw up a chart for you guys so you can see exactly what symbol matches up with what symbol. It's very, very easy. So again, you have to match up the symbol you see right there on the rock, that, that one that is actually placed on the rock with the floating symbols right here. So I'll throw up the chart for a little bit. Enjoy that, guys, and then we'll move on to the next step, which is incredibly easy. So once that step is done, all we have to do is run around the map and shoot three stones with the ice staff, okay? So there's one right there that is directly by Jug or Gen 4. Uh, the second one is across from the first one. You guys can kind of see what path I'm taking here. Again, shoot it with your ice staff and then switch to your secondary and shatter the stone. Now, 
It's important to mention that make sure you have a gun that shoots actual bullets. The ray gun, the Reagan Mark II, another staff, the, the upgraded Mauser will not shatter that stone. So I recommend just buying a wall gun for this step. So again, there's the first two. I just showed you them um, and just follow the path that I take here. Now we're heading over to generator two and uh, this stone is located right outside the tank's path. We're going to go ahead and again shoot it with our ice staff and then switch to our secondary and shatter the stone. And then at that point, we're going to head back to the excavation site. Our actions remain a mystery. I don't know how, but you are so much closer than my father ever got. So once that step is done, just like always, turn all of these stones until they are all blue. And you can go ahead and shoot the uh, stone at the very bottom of the sphere. And you're pretty much good to go. You want to head back to the crazy place, place down your ice staff in the uh, same pedestal where you picked up that ice crystal. And get a bunch of kills in the crazy place until you are notified that your ice staff is upgraded. Samantha will say a quote and it will flash on screen letting you know that you have upgraded your ice staff but again the ice staff is a pretty easy upgrade with all these staffs once you do it once after that it is just really really simple so welcome to the win staff section of the video what we're gonna be doing here is we are going to be grabbing the three parts for the win staff first and in order to get these three parts, we have to enter each robot. There's a total of three robots. The first one right here was the robot that goes through the middle of the map. So think excavation site. Uh, the other robot goes towards church or generator six. And the last robot goes through generator two and generator three. So all you have to do is when you see the robot approaching, just kind of look underneath their feet and figure out which foot is illuminated. And you have to go to that kind of corresponding um, footprint, okay? It's very, very simple. Um, this is a really easy thing to do. It just can take some time sometimes. Like this robot here, I remember in game, took me like 15 minutes for him to spawn in. So as you can see, just go to each of the footprints that are illuminated, that have that light underneath it and shoot it when it's stepping over you and make sure to shoot it with a regular gun because if you don't, it will actually kill you. So that's what you have to do for the first step. You get all the parts of the wind staff through the three robots. And now we can work on getting the uh, disc and I'll show you guys the three disc locations right now. All of the wind disc locations are going to be at generator five. So when you ever think of wind disc, think of generator five or stamina up. And uh, the first wind disc location is directly beside stamina up. It's kind of resting up against this broken wall right here. The second location is going to be on these crates right here. Again, this is right by generator five. And this is on the opposite side of stamina up. So stamina up um, right outside of stamina up is a soul chest. Chest. This is the opposite side. You will see these crates and this is right by the stairs going underneath generator 5. The last wind disc location is you want to go underneath generator 5. So when you go down the stairs, look to your left, you will see this table and on that table you will find the wind disc kind of resting up against some of these wine bottles and those are the three wind disc locations again all by generator 5. So once we have all three parts for our wind staff and we also have that wind disc, grab the gramophone and run down to the wind tunnel, which is located by generator four. And by the way, that's a great place to craft the shield. So come down here, place down your gramophone. And like always, we have to access this specific tunnel to get the wind stone. It's the same for every other um, staff. You have to access that staff's tunnel in order to pick up that stone. So we're going to go over here, grab the wind stone, and uh, we're going to head back to the Pack-a-Punch area or the excavation site. We're going to craft our staff and work on the upgrade. And I got to say, uh, the wind staff is probably the easiest upgrade out of all of them. I wouldn't say the wind staff is really all that good. It's probably the worst out of all of them, but um, it definitely is an easy upgrade. So let's go ahead and craft that and we can start working. No, that's the that, that's the ice one, Adam. There you go. Now you can start working on the upgrade for this thing. For the first step of the upgrade, we're gonna head back to the crazy place and we are going to head to the wind section of the crazy place. 
and we are going to input a code and this code is very easy i'll have it on screen for you guys but all you have to do is just turn or shoot each of these stones until you get a specific code lined up or all these symbols lined up and again I will have it on screen so you guys can see exactly what code you need and that's all you do for the first step it is very simple it is very straightforward as you can see it literally took me like uh, not even a minute to get it done it, it's so easy and the next step is even easier so for the last step, what we're going to do is run around the map and shoot three of these smoking cylinders, okay? The first one is right here by Generator 4, or where Jug is. And when you shoot the smoke, make sure you shoot it towards the excavation site, which is in the middle of the map. And what I'm going to do also here is leave in all of my gameplay, because for those of you who have never done this before, I want you guys to kind of see what path I take so you guys can follow my path. If I was just to cut up my gameplay, you guys would probably have no idea where to go. So just kind of follow my path right here. Again, the first one is by Generator 4, or where Juggernaut is located. Um, I kind of got lost here for a second. I don't know why I went up here, so kind of ignore this. Go, like, behind the tank and run over here. The second one is going to be located kind of in between um, this tank path and then the tunnel going kind of behind the excavation site. So this one's kind of hard to hit, but just kind of, you can kind of see when the smoke changes directions. And the last one is right here by Stamina Up or Generator 5. And again, make sure you shoot the smoke towards the excavation site. And as you can see, there we go. All of those are done. Now we can head back and do that last mini puzzle. So now we'll head back to the excavation site. We will turn all of these stone slabs with these switches until they are all yellow. Then we'll head down underneath all these stone slabs where we crafted the staff originally. There will be a yellow orb. You shoot that yellow orb. Then you'll run back to the crazy place and you'll place your staff down in the uh, original place where you picked up that stone. You'll get a certain amount of kills in the crazy place and then you'll be notified with the quote that your staff has been upgraded. And of course, something will show on screen. You can go pick it up from the pedestal and then you then have the upgraded wind staff.